welcome back to the garage. We got my 07 F-150 here, and she's bleeding pretty badly, as you can see. Uh, it's even streaming, it's so bad. Uh, the, I found out about it this morning, and I went out on the driveway and left a nice huge puddle there for me. So, fortunately I found that brake clean works really well to clean up oil off of a nice pretty driveway like this one here. So brake clean, and some water, wash that off and get rid of it. But wanted to show you what I found here on the truck. Look underneath and you can see that it's not just a seep anymore. This started out as a seep and turned into a huge leak. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the truck up, let it run a little bit, leave the camera under here so we can see exactly where this leak is coming from. Well, let's see what happens here. As you can see, that's a pretty bad leak. It's funny how this leak started out as just a little seat. And I wasn't too worried about it. And then all of a sudden I see a huge puddle out on the driveway. I thought, okay, we need to do something about this. This is pretty bad. And I think we found our problem. Yeah, take a look at this cooler line here. It literally just broke right off. <laughs> so it was actually rust. It wasn't the rubber uh, joint. It literally just rusted right off. Look at that. You know, this isn't the first time that I've regretted just not replacing all the lines while I'm at it, which I think is what I'm going to do. So. Here's a little tip for you guys, if you're going to do cooler lines or something like that because of rust, just do them all while you're at it. Save yourself the headache later on down the road. And I'll bet you this one here is the same way. Alright, so after fighting and unsuccessfully attempting to remove the cooler lines from the radiator up there, if you guys have experience with these, you know how much of a pain that is. I decided, you know what, they're not leaking at the fittings. Shoot, even these rubber hoses aren't leaking. It was just leaking here where the lines were rusted. So what I'm going to do is I cut the lines off as you can see here. I cleaned them up, deburred them, cleaned them out so we've got nice smooth surfaces here. And I'm just going to take some rubber hose, some extra hose that I have and I'm going to use some clamps and some hose and just reconnect these cooler lines. The transmission cooler lines are not under much pressure but they do go through a lot of different temperature changes so you want to make sure that you get them tight and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use multiple clamps per end and put plenty of rubber hose over the steel lines to reduce the chance of them coming off or leaking and uh, it'll be cheaper this way, it'll be faster, I don't have to go get a part and uh, it's going to be less frustrating, I don't have to fight these cooler fittings here which are, like I said, if you've got experience with these they're a real pain to get off even when you have the right tool with older vehicles like this. And I decided to go ahead and do the other one while I was at it. As you can see it was about to rust through as well. I uh, got some of the surface rust off there and this pipe was really weak so I just cut it off of the other line and uh, it's interesting because if you look under the truck here you can see that the only place these cooler lines were rusting very badly was where they were secured in this little retainer and the problem is this retainer traps moisture and salt and road grime and all that junk in there and it rusts out the line 
The rest of the lines are perfectly fine. I mean, some of them, most of them aren't even showing any rust. They look new. There's no rust anywhere. It's just where they were trapped in this retainer here, where it caused it to sit with all that water and salt and road grime that it just rusted away. So I'm gonna repair them with rubber hose. Let's see how this goes here. Okay, so here's the finished project for now. Um, I don't like these squeeze style clamps. They get weak over time and they don't clamp down near as well as the uh, worm gear or screw type clamps do as you see there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run up to the store right quick and I'm gonna grab uh, four more of these style hose clamps here and I'm gonna double them up on each one. That way I know for sure they stay in place. But I wanna start this up and make sure I got my leaks taken care of. And this was so much cheaper and easier than going out and buying whole new cooler lines uh, just for that little rusted portion there. So let's start this up and see if it leaks. Yeah, that's more like it. Now that I know it's not leaking, I'm going to go drive it as well to the store and get these clamps. It's not a far drive, it's only a few minutes, just to make sure that everything holds on there well. And we'll get four new uh, mini clamps like that, slide those on, or screw them on, tighten them up as well. And I'm going to call this good. Saved a bunch of time and a bunch of money, as the alternative would have been to replace the entire cooler lines. That would have taken a lot more time, would have been a lot more frustrating trying to get the, the fittings out of the radiator. So there you go. That is uh, my fix to a rusted through cooler line on your truck.